Good evening, it's Captain Kate here again on the 25th day of Advent this year. Our reflection this evening is entitled Promises and Plans. The readings. In the Old Testament we have Zephaniah chapter 3 verses 14 to 18a and in the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 45. Luke chapter 1 verses verse 41 says this When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. When it comes to trusting that God will follow through on his plans and promises, no one shows us how to do it better than Mary. Elizabeth recognises this immediately and with some awe when Mary greets her with the child Jesus growing in her womb. Mary's faith is palpable, her chosenness apparent in her very being and in the fact that she's standing on Elizabeth's doorstep, having risked an arduous journey based on the word of an angel. Mary did not let her own troubles and fears stop her from acting in love no matter the cost. She did what she needed to do and trusted that God would take care of everything else. Julian of Norwich, the 14th century English anchoress and mystic, echoes that theme in her well-known quote, all shall be well, all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Words that can't seem either cloyingly saccharine or simply out of touch. But if we remember that Julian, living in isolation in a cell and surviving an illness that brought her close to death, is not issuing a feel-good affirmation, rather a statement of trust in God's love. We begin to see that she too is walking in Mary's footsteps and so must we. Julian's quote continues, For there is a force of love moving through the universe that holds us fast and never lets us go. Mary carried that force within her. Elizabeth recognised it, Julian and many other mystics experienced it and it's up to us to trust that this same force is guiding us home and that all God's promises will be fulfilled. Many quotes from the saints may at first seem a little high in the sky but when put in context reveal lives of suffering and strength. Ours is not a faith build on, be built on greeting card sentiments, but on hard-won truths. What words call you today, asking you to look beyond the surface? Let's pray together. Dear God, we trust that all will be well in your time, if not in ours. It's not always easy to trust, but we begin again each day believing in your promises and plans. Amen.